This problem reads, Otis has a total of $12,000 invested in two accounts. One account pays 8% and the other 9%. If his interest for one year is $1,010, how much does he have invested at each rate? So since we're trying to determine how much Otis has in each account, I have stated a variable representing each of these amounts. Where X represents the amount invested at 8% and Y represents the amount invested at 9%. My goal from here is to find a system of two equations based on these variables that I can then use to solve this problem. And the first equation that I will create is based on the amount invested. If I take the amount that he invested at 8% and add the amount that he invested at 9%, that should equal the total amount that he invested, which was $12,000. So the first equation is x plus y equals 12,000. Now, the second equation is based on the interest earned. The interest earned on the first account can be represented by multiplying the interest rate in decimal form times the amount invested, and the interest earned on the second account can be represented by taking that interest rate in decimal form and multiplying it by the amount invested. And then those two values added together should equal the amount of interest that he has earned in one year, which is $1,010. We can actually neaten this second equation up just a little bit and get rid of those decimals by multiplying each piece by 100. And so that second equation becomes 8x plus just 9y equals 101,000. So our two equations are x plus y equals 12,000 and 8x plus 9y equals 101,000. From here, you can solve this system using whichever method you prefer, graphing, elimination, or substitution. I'm going to solve the system of equations using substitution. So first, I'm going to solve this first equation for y by subtracting x from both sides which gives me 12,000 minus x. And this is the expression that I will substitute in for y in the second equation, which looks like this. 8x plus 9, and instead of multiplying by y, I'm going to multiply by this expression. 12,000 minus x equals 101,000. Now I'm going to solve this equation for x by first distributing the 9. So we have 8x plus 108,000 minus 9x equals 101,000. Combining like terms gives us negative 1x plus 108,000 equals 101,000, and then subtracting 108,000 from both sides gives us the equation negative 1x equals negative 7,000. Now we just need to solve this for x. So I'm going to divide both sides of this equation by negative 1, and so x equals 7,000. Now I need to use this value for x to find y. I'm going to go back to this first equation. I can go back to either one, but this first equation is just a bit simpler. So I'm going to go back to the first equation, and I'm going to go back to this version of the first equation. Since it's already solved for y, when I plug in x equals 7,000, I easily get the y value of 5,000. Now let's go back to the original problem and make some sense out of these values. x equals 7,000, y equals 5,000. 
we got a result of x equaled 7,000, which represented in our statement here that x was the amount invested at 8%. So the amount of money that Otis invested at 8% is going to be 7,000. And since we got a value for y of 5,000, that implies that the amount that Otis invested at 9% is $5,000.